How are we looking? How are we looking? <laughs> All right. I want to tell you guys about uh, the evening of January 5th, 2023, uh, the night I stopped being a hypothetical newsman um, and became a real journalist. Let's get into it. We have grown to over a million a million followers across uh, Instagram and TikTok, which is uh, amazing. Um, so much love there. The community is amazing uh, most of the time. And uh, there are people that like to point out, all I do is regurgitate headlines. Yeah, that's true. I mean, definitely anyone could do it. Definitely anyone could do it. Uh, I did work in politics 10 years, which gives me a bit of a nuanced opinion on things, I think, especially the fact that I worked for both liberals and conservatives. Uh, I worked for both sides, hated both of them. Um, I've written novels. I'm a George Orwell disciple. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think there's some unique things which maybe people wouldn't be able to offer that would just regurgitate the news headlines. But I digress, okay? Because this is something I've always wanted to do. I wanted to be a journalist. My marks in high school were not good enough. Um, you know, I skipped too many classes and was a little shithead. Okay, here's what happened. Uh, I got contacted by someone who was on the scene of uh, a current attack which had occurred at a Las Vegas power plant, okay? At the Mega Solar Array facility, which is a power plant in Las Vegas, where a man had just driven his car through the gates, through the security gates, and bashed it into a transformer, lighting it on fire, okay? And this is all documented um, in, in, in the press. Uh, but what wasn't shared was that the man sat there in a chair watching the car burn, uh, you know, after he had crashed it into the transmission. Like, I think, he, I think he, he kind of put it on cruise control and jumped out the door and let it ram into the thing. Anyways, um, so I have some pictures I'm gonna share with y'all, and, and these are exclusive. No, no, no one has ever had these pictures released. We are the only ones that have them. I actually had Las Vegas, um, press reaching out to me, asking if they could buy the pictures. Uh, I told them to go take a hike. Um, I'll show you the email, the email's right here. You can see it here. Um, so we broke that news essentially. They wanted to see the photos. Um, they wanted to see what we had, what had been sent to us. Uh, we did not share them. And uh, frankly, I'm glad we didn't. I'll also point out, cause I found this super absurd. The man who did it, the man who attacked the power plant uh, in Las Vegas was a dentist from Colorado, uh, Mohammed Reza. He says he did it. He says he, he attacked the solar power plant to send clean energy message. That makes absolutely zero sense for the record. Um, okay, why is this important? Why does it matter that this man attacked a power plant? Did you know? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take this one step at a time. First of all, did you know that it only takes like nine substations in the United States to be knocked out for the entire grid to go down? It sounds absurd. It sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory. This is no. This is verifiable through a 2015 Senate committee study, which shows that uh, not only is there like some severe security issues just with uh, as substations in America and the fact that it only takes like a dozen of them to be knocked out for the entire grid to go down, which it does mention is true. Uh, it also mentions that they're run on Windows Vista. Like a lot of the substations in America are running on Windows Vista right now at, at this very moment, Windows Vista is running your, your power. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, over the last year, there were a shit ton of substation attacks. No, we're talking dozens of attacks at substations throughout the country. Um, and I, we covered a lot of them throughout the last year on my daily updates. Um, these attacks range from disgruntled drive-by rifle shootings uh, at electrical towers to arson, to just bashing the damn transformers with baseball bats. That I remember that one. I mean, you know, so, so the, the severity of the attacks definitely ranges. We got a range there. But, you know, in the end, they spanned the entire country. Florida, Oregon, Washington, North and South Carolina, all reporting multiple attacks on substations in the last year. And then you have, of course, this Las Vegas thing, this Las Vegas power plant attack. 
by a dentist from Colorado who attacks a solar plant in a protest for, for clean, renewable energy. Something's not adding up there. I'm sorry, just something ain't adding up. So, I mean, what does this all mean? What does this all mean? I think what it means is this. We're under attack. I don't think it's that absurd to suggest that there are some very potentially dangerous foreign actors or domestic, but I mean, let's be real. We are on the edge of a world war. Like, let's not sugarcoat it. War is coming. In what form? I mean, I guess we're going to find out, right? But war is coming. And what? It's a standard operating procedure to go in and sabotage infrastructure of the enemy. So, I mean, and this, this is not some fantasy land stuff. Here's, here's an article showing um, a charming couple from Maryland, okay, uh, including a, a known neo-Nazi. I mean, look at that fucking guy. He's obviously a Nazi. Um, they were indicted by a federal grand jury after allegedly plotting to attack five power substations, okay? Um, so this was going to be throughout Maryland and Pennsylvania. They were going to attack the substations. Thankfully, these, these individuals were caught. Um, but having said that, it could be domestic, it could be foreign, but I don't think you can deny that at one point they were trying to take out power in America. Who's they? I mean, if I knew that answer, I guess, uh, I guess we'd be a lot further along in, in securing ourselves and our countries. Uh, should we be concerned? Yes, you should definitely be concerned. If you work in the power industry, if you work at a substation, be aware, be extra diligent. Because... Um, I mean, these are the facts. I've laid it out for you guys, okay? It takes nine substations, nine to 12 substations to go down for the entire US grid to collapse, okay? Uh, it's run on Windows Vista. There's been dozens of attacks throughout the last year. These are the facts, okay? Do with them what you will. And you'll notice, like I did notice this, I'll say this. After East Palestine, Ohio, it seemed like... Like, it just seems like I haven't heard much about substation attacks lately, and it switched to train derailments. Um, and maybe there was a switch in tactics here. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, let's not forget about massive chemical explosions throughout the United States. Uh, mat like fires, all sorts of fires, which are direct tactics used and strategies used in the past to sabotage pre-war, you know, your, your, your future enemy. You go into their homeland and you fuck with their infrastructure. And guess what? Guess what happens back? This is, this is World War I, World War II stuff, okay? Germany was in the US lighting fires, blowing up bridges, fucking with trains, okay? Every time this sort of thing happens, the media and the government downplay it. They downplay it at the time, okay? They, they never tell you what's actually going on while it's happening. This is facts. So it's now known there was sabotage before World War One, World War One. But back then, they just played it off. They said, "Oh, it's just an accident, just another accident, just a coincidence." Does that sound familiar? I think we're under attack. I do think we are under attack. I'll, I will say that. Like, like, and, and I think it's important to add also. Like, I will just say this: it could be a culmination of skeleton crews, people being overworked, overstressed, underpaid health and safety regulations slashed throughout COVID pandemic and whatever else, um, old infrastructure that hasn't been properly upkept. I mean, it could be, that could be a factor in, in the train derailments at least, and maybe some of the accidents, some of the explosions, but I'm sorry, I'm not buying it for all of them. I'm just not buying it. And, and then when you dip, when you, when, you, when you tie in substation attacks, I don't think you can look at all this and say, we are not under attack. Yes, some of it could be human error, human, human uh, exhaustion, you know, human being underpaid and overworked. Simple as that. I mean, that's a piss off. A lot of people aren't going to do their best work when they're underpaid and overworked. You know what I'm saying? But that'd be too convenient. I honestly, I mean, I wish that was the answer. I don't think that's the answer. I guess I'll leave you with this question, guys. How many coincidences are we going to accept you know, how many coincidences are we going to swallow before we start saying, hey, maybe there's something more going on here? Thank you again. Stay safe, stay informed. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.